as of now we have already discussed about what is voltage amplification and how we are amplifying the voltage signal and we have seen the necessity for power amplifier now at this time at this moment a question may arise in you what is the exact difference between this voltage amplifier and this power amplifier the voltage amplifier amplifies that signal which is having a very low amount of voltage whereas power amplifier amplifies that signal input which is having already a high voltage only we are making sure that a high voltage signal should be given as an input to the power amplifier so this amplifier is called as a small signal amplifier because we are giving a very low voltage signal and this amplifier is called as large signal amplifier because we are giving the a very high voltage as input at this voltage amplifier the output power is very small because our requirement is not the high output power we are expecting the high voltage whereas in the case of the power amplifier we are expecting the high power output because the power is high we are keeping the output current we are trying we are expecting the output current to be high where we are taking that output current it is nowhere we are taking the output current at the collector terminal so the collector current is high here the collector current is low because we are expecting the collector current to be high we are keeping the collector resistance to be low whereas here the collector resistance is high and we are expecting the power to be transferred properly so impedance matching is a very required criterion in the power amplifier whereas it is not that much required criterion in the voltage amplifier here we are taking the transformer coupling for one stage to the next stage here we are taking the rc coupling the transformer coupling is making sure that the impedance is properly matched when the source impedance and the load impedance are properly matched maximum power can be transferred so that's why we are using the transformer coupling in the power amplifier and then we are saying it is giving the high output power okay it is giving a high current ic okay with this high current and high power we are generating heat here so output generated heat is high in the power amplifier whereas at the output of the voltage amplifier we do not observe that much heat so definitely heat sinks are required to grasp this heat coolers are required heat sinks requirement must be there in the power amplifier otherwise your circuit will be damaged the ic's will not be operated for huge amount of time so that's why a heat sink arrangement is a must in the power amplifier where it is not mandatory in the voltage amplifier in the voltage amplifier we have seen we can connect more than one stage amplifiers in series that configuration is called as cascading if we connect a ce amplifier another ce amplifier like that if we are connecting n number of amplifiers in series it is called as cascading simply we are connecting in series but if we are connecting a ce amplifier to the cb amplifier common emitter configuration amplifier is connected to the common base amplifier this is called as cascading here we are using the ce amplifier for the voltage amplification we are using the cb amplifier for the uh, current requirement current either we are expecting cb to match the impedance we are taking the cc uh, cc common collector configuration also we can take this cc amplifier do not amplify the voltage the voltage gain of the cc amplifier is one whereas it is used as a current amplifier it is also called as emitter follower whereas the current gain of the cb amplifier is unity it can amplify the voltage but for the best impedance matching we can go with the cb if we use this type of the amplifier configuration ce and cb this is called as cascading in the power amplifier we do not use this cascading and cascading but we use the push pull amplifier and complementary symmetry these new terms are used in the power amplifier whereas these terms are not used in the old age amplifier we use the cascading and cascading it is used as a pre amplifier in the first stages only for amplifying the voltage we use this whereas it is used as a, to connect the 
signal to the output signal to the load output device we use before the output device this power amplifier we do not use power amplifier in the first stage we do not use the voltage amplifier in the last stage before the last stage initial stages we use the voltage amplifier before the output device we use the power amplifier this is the uh, difference these are the differences between the voltage amplifier and power amplifier